Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked, and today we're going to be doing a review of the Yfang 717 Fluid Head Tripod System. Uh, so I decided we'd keep it in the bag so you can see the nice bag that it comes with. Um, the tripod setup is only about $140. Um, that is the cheapest fluid head tripod that you can probably get for under $250 that works as well as this system does. It does have some cheap parts on it, um, so it does have kind of a cheap feel to it, but so far so good. Um, the only complaint that I have, I've had this about three weeks, the only complaint I've had so far is on your quick release plate. Um, one of the rubber pieces has fallen off, but I just need to get some glue and I can glue it right back on. Other than that, this thing has performed magically. Um, we've had a blast using it. Brian uses it all the time. And uh, it's about five and a half feet tall. It's really easy to set up. Um, so one of the nice things I like about it is, we'll tighten that up, is how easy it is to unlock your legs. You just do that and, and it just slides right out. And as you can see, it's very, very simple to unlock the leg and set it up. Now we're going to lock them back in. And they're nice and big knobs, so it's very easy to do that. Um, this is probably the nicest tripod, the nicest, cl the closest thing to a professional tripod that you're going to get for the price. Um, there will, of course, be a link down below, so you can check it out on Amazon. Um, so one of the other nice things that it has is that you are able to control how you want to set up your arm here. I can set it up over here or I can connect it over to this side right here. Um, as well, I can bring it up, down, like I can bring it in any position I need to. So if I'm in a really tight position and I need to control my tripod, just tighten it up and now I have full control from up here. You know, say you're in a bathroom or something, you're up against the wall, you gotta get a really tight shot. This is gonna help. Now if you need a wider, a better shot, a wider shot where you have more room and you need to be able to move and you need more arm length. I don't know why, but you do have the option to have more arm length here, as you can see. So you can control it from way back here, and it moves a tad bit smoother this way. So I do suggest in using this if you can. Um, let's tighten that back in. So the real, one of the nice things about it is that the ball head system comes right out, the fluid head system, so it pops right out. So if you do need a base of a tripod for, let's say, a jib or something like that, most this should fit most uh, most bases I believe um, like a, a basic really cheap jib should be able to fit right into this and you could use this um, as a just a base for your jib um, there is the actual fluid head pulled right off um, as well it has in the back of it it has a a measure so you can see that if you're uh, if you're evenly evenly positioned um, which is really nice because if you're in a position to where you are shooting, and it is a, it takes me one second to tighten that back in here. So if you're in a position where you have to have your legs are off even, kind of, you know, they're tilted, they're off even, you can actually use just this, and you can use this to get it back to, to an even position um, by just loosening this up a, a little bit and looking at your ball in here, your bubble, and making it nice and evenly setup so I really really like that um, as well as you can notice this thing just moves so smooth when you're actually shooting compared to the basic tripod like what we're sitting on now is like an $80 tripod and it's got the whole like you know screw the back part of this and then you can switch it from side to side this is just so much smoother there's just no tension it's just I don't know why I haven't gone to a, uh, a fluid head system sooner. Uh, the quick release plate works pretty well like I said the only problem I've had with it so far is that uh, one of the the base parts, one of the, the rubbery parts here, um, kind of fell off. But other than that, no problems. Really easy to take it on and off. So you just slide it in, and you have on the left side, you have a little knob that locks it in um, to keep it from coming on and off like this, as you can see. And then on the right side, you can tighten it down as needed. So you could even slide it all the way out here, and you could tighten it down out there if you needed an extra, you know, three or four inches in your shot for some reason. That is an option. Um, and like I said, you can move your arm to either side and you have, you have a way to make sure everything's evenly balanced. And, uh, and then right here at the bottom, if you need a little bit more steadiness, we'll bring this up 
and we'll pull this down here. You have this little piece that comes out of the bottom. I'm not 100% sure what it's exactly used for, but I would use this to connect to something heavy to weigh down the tripod um, if I needed it. The tripod, uh, again, is about five and a half feet tall, fully extended all the way up to the top of the fluid head. Um, and I would say it weighs uh, probably about five to seven pounds. So it's not something that you're gonna wanna travel with in a backpack or something like that. This is more set up for a professional job um, that where you actually need to set it up and you have a whole set going on and you need a really nice tripod or kind of like a sporting event or something like that. Something where you throw it in your car and you pull it out and use it, but not something you throw in your backpack and go hiking with it. Uh, we're gonna have some footage right here after this and uh, you guys can actually check out how it operates. We'll have a little bit of footage uh, showing you guys uh, actually using it and then you can actually see what it looks like when it's being used. Uh, again, I really like it. $140 on Amazon. Definitely worth the purchase. So there'll be a link down below if you'd like to check it out. As well, check us out on Facebook at David D. Images, Twitter at Media Unlocked, and our new website, of course, MediaUnlocked.net. There'll be a full write-up and review on this so you guys can actually really get a get a feel for it and of course we'll take some pictures and add that into the write-up so you can see some in-depth close pictures of it. You guys have a great day. We'll catch you next time.